On November 7, 2001, less than two months after the 9-11 attacks, former President Bill Clinton addressed our new state of affairs with a high-profile speech at Georgetown University. In addressing the root causes of the conflict, he said the following, quote, Those of us who came from various European lineages are not blameless. Indeed, in the First Crusade, when the Christian soldiers took Jerusalem, they first burned a synagogue with 300 Jews in it, and proceeded to kill every woman and child who was Muslim on the Temple Mount. The contemporaneous descriptions of the event describe soldiers walking on the Temple Mount, a holy place to Christians, with blood running up to their knees. I can tell you that story is still being told today in the Middle East, and we are still paying for it." Unquote. This statement, along with many others that point to past Western sins to excuse modern-day anti-Western atrocities, are conventional wisdom for the left. Similar thoughts have been repeated on college campuses, media outlets, workplaces, bars, throughout the public discourse. Yet to anyone with a solid grasp of history, this statement is absurd and non-sequitur. Not because the event is described inaccurately, though the president should have realized that the up to our knees and bloodline was a common medieval exaggeration, but because the conclusions drawn are spurious. First, Clinton points out that Jews as well as Muslims were victims in the siege of Jerusalem. Indeed, European Jews were also victims. As religious fervor swept the continent, some restless Christians without the means to march to the Holy Land took out their aggression on local non-believers. The Western Latin Christian Crusaders also fought with the Eastern Orthodox Christians, who lay between them and the Muslim Middle East, climaxing in the Crusader sack of Constantinople in 1204. Western Christians even committed atrocities against each other, as they fought over rights to newly conquered lands and jockeyed for influence back home. If we follow the left's warped logic, all of these groups would have legitimate grievances against the West for the Crusades and all would have been justified in carrying out a 9-11 style attack in 2001. Yet it was only the Muslims who saw fit to carry out such an act. And I can't help but think that Clinton would have been less sympathetic if a group of Jews or Orthodox Christians had murdered 3,000 people on that day. Second, the chain of responsibility makes no sense. As we know, the United States of America did not exist during the Crusades. Columbus would not even land in the New World for another 300 years, and so Clinton references our European lineages as proof of our guilt. Yet one-third of American citizens are not of European descent. Of the two-thirds that did come from Europe, many are not Western Christians, and many more came from nations that did not take part in the Crusades or only participated peripherally. The United Kingdom, our founding colonial power, and the source of many of our laws, traditions, and early citizens was one of these peripheral nations. Indeed, most crusaders were from France, which is why the Muslims at the time referred to all crusaders simply as Franks.